Welcome to Philip Capital's Weekly Market Watch. Of late, global markets have been scaling to new highs, and this has been met with mixed reactions from various sources, as evidenced from the many reports released. Today, we have Mr. Wong Ying-soon, Investment Analyst from Philip Futures Investment and Research Desk, to share more. So, Wang soon with its uncertainties arising from the different points of views, can you elaborate on the likely factors leading to market pessimism? China's RMB 4,000 billion fiscal stimulus and 7,300 billion new bank loans in the first half of has benefited the largest state companies and biggest government-backed infrastructure projects, leaving a small and medium enterprise which provides 75% of jobs to China's urban workforce to fend for itself. When the effect of stimulus receipts and Beijing Rinsin Bank lending, domestic consumption will have even more difficulty compensating for the last drop in exports. In the US, housing prices, as mentioned by the S&P Cash Wheeler Home Price Index, reached a six-year low in April 2009 from a July 06 peak, and a slow recovery will bring about a slow restoration of wealth to US homeowners, leading to poor consumption demand. With this in mind, what could be pointing to a silver lining? The Chinese government hold one of the largest FX reserves and have deep pockets to finance expenditure on social welfare sectors, for example health spending, and implement pro-business policies for small and medium enterprise. This will most probably bring about higher domestic consumption. In the US, the lack of dollar alternative may, may bring about continued demand for long-term US bonds, putting down some pressure on interest rates and benefiting homeowners because mortgage rates remain low and affordable. This may accelerate the recovery of US home prices, restoring wealth back to homeowners and giving them increased purchasing power. Finally, having highlighted the ups and downs that are likely to affect the market, what in your opinion would be the direction the market will move in? Currently, we are almost at the end of the recession and stock prices have reflected this trend. This is the consolidation phase before the start of an economic recovery, and investors should position themselves well ahead so as not to miss the boat again. That's when global consumption finally picks up during an economic recovery phase, probably in November this year, ahead of the Christmas buying season. Thank you, Aung Soon. That's all we have for you today, so tune in next week for more market updates.